What's up guys? I'm gonna do a quick guide on how to do Tombs of Damascus with uh, essentially welfare gear. This is my Iron Man on the wild. I'm gonna do this live. So minimum gear you're gonna want for this is gonna be Void or Pharaoh's gear. Dragon Hunter Crossbow, Fury Whip. Mine's not even a crack of the tentacle, so. And then a DDS. So essentially during this stage, you're going to want to have mage out, so your full mage set, you're going to pray mage, open your supplies, crack your smelling salts, which is basically just an overload potion, crack your scarab, which is going to be a prayer restoration pot, begin, stand right here, you're going to tank about 25 damage. Gonna move here. And guys, this is just the easiest way to do this. You're gonna dodge the first lantern. You're gonna move here, dodge the second lantern. Move back here. You're gonna tank two shots, one from here, one from here. One's gonna do 21 damage, one's gonna do 28, something like that. Take the first one. Take the second one. Eat up. All right, you're gonna swap to range. This ward will always die if you stay on this side. There, DPS, Skull is Mage, so pray Mage. You're gonna lure it over this way. It's gonna swing, it's gonna be range. It's kind of like a mini jet fight, you're gonna wanna stand right here. Sometimes these skulls are gonna fly out, there's nothing you can really do to uh, prevent the damage. So just make sure you're brewed up. So periodically you're gonna have these waves. If you stand here, you'll dodge this first one completely. Second one's gonna come from the east side or the west side. You just run to the south, you'll dodge it. So just continue DPSing, swap to mage for the skulls. You're gonna get this wheel that rotates counterclockwise. The closer you are, the easier it is to dodge, which is why we're standing so close. Once you do 420 damage to him, he's going to basically shit his heart out, put on piety, beat it up, throw your specials on it. You're always going to max hit for every attack, so you want to use something that uh, has low spec bar consumption. So DDS is good, claws are better. After the range uh, phase, he's always going to switch to... Protect for range, so to swap to your mage set. Again, this will come about to here, so we'll dodge that. One's gonna come from the west, we're just gonna walk a few squares to the south, we will dodge it. gonna rotate. Sometimes it's like a hit, you'll see 20 damage, not that bad. Took a hit there too, messed my prayers up. You're gonna get hit sometimes, it's not a big deal. It's not like Jed where you'll get one hit if you fuck up.
Same thing as last time. If you get max DPS on every uh, heart drop, it should take about three rounds. So we're gonna get through this second round, rinse and repeat. So he just had protect from range up. Now he will have protect from range up. So swap to your, I'm sorry, protect from mage up. So swap to your range again. It'll just alternate back and forth. So last little phase, we're just going to beat up his heart. Swap to range immediately. After he dies, he goes straight into the second phase. This always trips people up. You're gonna focus on these three tiles in the middle. You're gonna start with the right, go to the left, go to center. Right, left, center. The ticks aren't perfect, so you can't range on each movement. A lot of people trip up on that. So I'm gonna move here, not attack, move left. Just gonna do this on repeat. At one quarter HP, he's gonna throw out some skulls. You'll see in a sec. You melee attack each one once, you have to use melee. Attacking these skulls does not reset your auto attack timer, so you can just basically click them uh, in quick succession to kill them. Back to this, right, left, middle. So at half HP, he's gonna do another skull rotation. You're gonna have a phantom that spawns on the left side. He's gonna start with range. So pray range on this. You should block 100% of the damage. So now we're going to be doing the right, left, center movement. In addition to prayer swapping, because every three attacks, he will swap between range and mage. At the third skull summon, you're going to have a second phantom that spawns. That will throw fireballs at your location. You can just dodge them. So now we are dodging the wave attacks, these fireball attacks, while also doing prayer swaps. I kind of fucked up there. Then drink an ambrosia, these will flee to max HP. So even if you fuck up, no big deal. You just get your, get your footing back. Alright, his last little hurrah here. 
after we get his HP down to, I think, 5%. hits all right so at this point you're gonna see all these little shadows start spawning these are gonna be where he's landing these lightning attacks so now we are no longer worried about the wave attacks we're just worried about these fireballs these lightning spawns and swapping prayers which will now be on two attacks they'll swap remember your ambrosia if you're low and we're just going to attack move until he dies Remember to swap your prayers every two attacks. So peripherally, just spot this, spot this guy on the left side, and swap between range and prayer every two attacks. Should have repop your overload if it goes out. I completely forgot about mine. Two full Ambrosias left, so I'm not really worried. It's been kind of a sloppy run. I'm trying to obviously commentate while I'm doing this. about 11 minutes, 12 minute runs on 150 raid levels. So after the fight, you're going to click on this little portal here that'll spawn, and you're going to go collect your herbs because the drop rates are fucked. Alright guys, that's going to be it. Hope that helps. I just started doing raids yesterday, so... I'm only going to get better, hopefully you guys can take some advice from this video and you guys can improve as well. Take it easy.